So he sent me uh, the script for Come to Daddy that was co-written by Toby Harvard as well, who wrote Racy Strangler. Um, he, I think you gave me a little preface that it was based on a personal experience. I think so. Perhaps. I hope you in. Yeah. I think I needed some... But it was a lie. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is Yeah, I used my father's death. I was going, I'm going to throw that at him and see how he reacts. And then he included a photo of Skrillex. He's like, this is how I imagine the character of Norval to look. Um, but anyway, so I had pre-existing interest to, to do anything that Ant was going to do, and I was, I was keen that Ant was going to be directing this film. So I read it um, and fell in love with it immediately. It was unlike anything I'd really read. It... it constantly subverted my expectations of where things were going to go. It sort of starts as this, uh, you know, family reunion story about a, a, a guy who's been estranged from his father for 30 years, and then it turns into something else, and it turns into something else, and it kind of keeps subverting your expectations. And I just, I loved it. Um, it was very taut, f really funny, surprising, shocking, and had this really great sort of through line of there being an emotional truth to what the character was experiencing as well that I thought was really interesting. I want to get to the personal aspect of the of the story, but first, why Skrillex? Because I loved the way your character looked in it as well, but yeah. I was also curious. I mean, I got the idea of like the LA musician and where he was coming from, but what about that person fascinated you? Well, it was Toby and I used to talk about like the character quite a lot before um, I spoke to Elijah, and Skrillex was always there just because of the imagery it was quite strong, and he's such a character. But I remember seeing these interviews with him, and he was very, it was very quiet, and he was just kind of like this regular. And I was knowing that we couldn't have a very broad caricature for the role, but he could have the look. But then we start peeling things back, put him through the ringer, and um, I knew Elijah was going to have this sort of emotional heft to be like this character that had empathy for, even though he's a bit of a douche um, <laughs> <laughs> at the setup. Um, but we, because he goes through so much, we really wanted the audience to be on his side through the journey. So It's so interesting. I was on his side even when he was a douche in the beginning because he's solely just a douche to impress this man who yeah. is unimpressed by him. So all of his lying and everything he's doing is solely just to make this person love him. Which yeah. we do. We all do a little bit of that yeah. sometimes, yes. Yeah.